tea time. Time for tea. Time for Rima's book review. I hope you're all doing fine. It's Sunday afternoon and you know what time it is. Sunday afternoon, yeah. It is time for Rima's book review. It's uh, beverage time also. I have my black tea latte here. My yummy black tea latte. Mm. Beautiful. I hope you're doing fine in your favorite coffee shop, your favorite tea shop, wherever you are, your favorite bathroom, your favorite bedroom, your favorite living room, wherever you hang around now. Uh, I hope you brought with you some focus. Uh, greetings from the super hot Borneo in Malaysia. It is uh, very hot. It's a very hot day. I'm sweating already. I have had to switch off my air condition here. Otherwise, there is this nasty background noise, so I don't want to have it on tape. That's why uh, I'm getting uh, I'm getting hot already. Um, so before we start all together again, let's have a simultaneous sip and enjoy our beverage, the beverage of your choice. I put that aside for a while, and I'm I'm really really uh, excited today about the book I will introduce to you. Uh, maybe some of you have seen it already in, in the store. Uh, maybe some of you have read it already. So here it is. The famous The Power of the Subconscious Mind from Joseph Murphy. The Power of the Subconscious Mind. So this, this book is a classic. That's a true classic. It's a bestseller. It's not only a bestseller, it is a true classic. And the uh, topic of uh, uh, the subconscious mind is also one of my uh, favorite um, topics. Uh, I'm fascinated by this topic, subconscious mind and psychology. I, I basically am studying this. And uh, later I will share with you uh, how my challenges, what I, what challenges I face or have faced uh, in regards to my own subconscious mind or to the topic of uh, the subconscious mind. Yeah. Later, I will share uh, a story. Uh, so stick around, don't run away. Just uh, pay attention, stay focused, uh, stick with me. I'm gonna introduce this uh, classic uh, book to you, Joseph Murphy. Uh, is a famous author. Uh, he wrote a lot of books. I have a few other here in my in my room. I've read these books. Very interesting. Um, so Joseph Murphy. He was a clergyman, of course. Not of course. So I need to tell you this because this book, uh, be, because. You have to notice uh, in case how to explain it to you. So we are we are entering the spiritual realm here also. Yeah, uh, Joseph Murphy was a, a clergyman. Just uh, that uh, you know. So he combines a spiritual wisdom with science-based analysis. Yeah. So if this is nothing for you, so then. Um, I still uh, would like to ask you to, to read it with an open mind. Um, Joseph Murphy, he presents simple and practical exercises that can turn your subconscious mind into a powerful tool. Um, it includes real and inspiring life stories. So in, in this book, there are a lot of stories. It's really easy to read, actually. Uh, many chapters, many subchapters. For example, how he will explain to you uh, how your mind works. Uh, he also will um, uh, tell you uh, about uh, mental healings in ancient times, how to use its power for wealth, so uh, the subconscious power, so how to use your subconscious power for wealth, the subconscious mind and relationships, how to use it to remove mental blocks, and uh, how to use your subconscious mind to remove fear. So these are just a few uh, examples from the book. He describes the subconscious mind as a treasure house within you. And why that is, he is explaining and writing uh, in his book. Uh, he also calls it 
actually a dark room yeah so uh, on one side he calls it a, a treasure house it is a treasure house but it's also kind of a dark room this is what joseph murphy calls it yeah because it is a secret place it's mysterious uh, nobody uh, really knows what the subconscious mind is uh, despite many uh, 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 studies and uh, scientific studies and so on now, it's a big topic it's still mysterious even today scientists haven't really figured out what the subconscious mind is how it works we know something uh, but really uh, we haven't really figured it out how it really works uh, all we know is that it is very very powerful as the the book title suggests so yeah um of course uh joseph murphy i mentioned he was a clergyman so that's why he makes frequent reference to the bible okay so i have to tell you from my own experience um honestly when i read this book about two years ago when i started with my personal development very honestly, I had difficult difficulties to read it, not because it was not readable or it's very complicated, but because of the fact that uh, it uh, took uh, 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 he took uh, frequent references uh, to the Bible. So because I have had nothing to do with the church in my whole life, I was not raised uh, Christian, um, so it was difficult for me to. Yeah, to get warm with the topic, you know, I understood everything, but some uh, something he he, uh, he describes in his book was sounded like woo woo and and that all that kind of stuff or like hocus pocus. And then when it came to prayer and all this stuff, you know, don't forget I was not raised Christian, so I had I had difficulties to 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 read it, and yeah, it uh, was a little bit uncomfortable, you know. But I finished the book. That was one of my first books I I have ever read when I started with my personal development about two years ago, two and a half years ago. So, and actually I have to reread it now because uh, I'm pretty sure when I read this book now again, I, I read it completely uh, from a different perspective and I will reread it again. Actually, I need to reread it again because I read other books from Joseph Murphy. They are great and my understanding has deepened, has much more deepened now. And so I think I will really enjoy this book uh, if I read it a second time. Um, okay. Um, the, the good thing is, like I say, the principle in this book, even though he's referring a lot to the Bible and, and, and things like that, the principle in this book uh, are not limited to any religion or faith. Yeah, This is uh, what you... Uh, makes you maybe a little bit suspicious in the beginning uh, uh, when you read this because he relates a lot uh, to the Bible but uh, it is actually yeah, not limited to any religion here. So uh, his work is founded on the thoughts of great thinkers and philosophers from all religions and nations. So and that's why my request to you please if you want to read this book please read it with an open mind because basically these spiritual um, things he is uh, talking about, you find them in any religion, yeah? in any culture, in any nation, uh, you will find it anywhere. And these, uh, spirit, the spiritual wisdom is thousands of years old that uh, was already known uh, before science even showed up. So read it with an open mind. It is really, really helpful. Um, yeah, and the book is uh, subconscious mind has to do of obviously uh, the, so the, when we talk about the subconscious mind, then we're talking about our own beliefs. Yeah, we have conscious beliefs and we have subconscious beliefs. This is a very huge topic. So this video session here can really only serve as an introduction to the topic of the subconscious mind. There are tons of books out there uh, written about this topic. But definitely, the, the power of the subconscious mind is, I think, uh, a must read. And also, um, I don't know if you should start with this book, if you want to discover the subconscious mind, if you want to discover uh, about the topic of the subconscious mind, if you want to learn. I don't know if you should start with that book. Uh, I'm not sure. You can. 
but definitely uh, you should read it sooner or later anyway you have to read it it's a classic so the, the the good thing i mentioned already also in the book is that he he brings a lot of stories yeah this is good that's why it's easy to read and uh, it's it's of course more more believable you can relate to it much better you know so for example there are stories of uh, uh, how a physician solved the problem of his diabetes or how a scientist escaped from a Soviet concentration camp. Yeah, so this book is uh, full of stories like that. And also uh, he uh, uh, gives you examples and stories how to build and break habits or how to break and build habits. So uh, because habits and the subconscious <laughs> mind, there is of course a strong relationship there uh, habits, the subconscious mind, beliefs, and this is what I want to talk about, uh, what I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video, so of course also I am constantly working on my own subconscious beliefs, on my subconscious mind, this is an ongoing process, this is not something you start and then after a few weeks or months or even years you bring to an end, this is a constant development, depending on what do you want uh, depending on what you want to achieve for yourself, uh, how far you want to develop, you know. But in my opinion, this is a constant development. This is a topic uh, not to be underestimated. This is huge. I cannot go into much detail here, and I will not because that would take hours. It is a, is a, is a wide topic, but uh, I work on my beliefs uh, every single day, and uh, therefore the subconscious mind is involved, you know. Uh, as a little example, as you know, uh, uh, whoever watched uh, and following, uh, whoever follows my videos, I was mentioning already in one of my previous reviews that I was uh, uh, addicted to cigarettes and smoking and that I had a, a serious drinking problem. So, uh, for sure, I had to change my, my thinking and my, my habits in regards to this if I wanted to to change my life, you know, and... Uh, these so-called bad or destructive habits, I had to change them. So I had to go to work on my subconscious mind or my beliefs or my habits or my behavior. And habits, they are residing in the subconscious mind. So I, I know firsthand, and many people actually know, probably uh, what I am talking about. But most of the people are not successful. We all know this when we... For, for example, if you want to lose weight, yeah, you know how many people are struggling to lose weight? And the secret, the secret is in here, in the subconscious mind. Yeah? And it is uh, uh, very well explained in the book. That's why the book is thick. It's like uh, tr over 320 pages uh, thick. So um, I take this very serious and... Uh, I am working on my beliefs. I work with my beliefs. I work. I uh, I try to 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 work on the on the on my subconscious beliefs every single day, because it is necessary. If you want to change your life to the better, you have to tackle your beliefs, especially your subconscious beliefs. I mean, there are only subconscious beliefs, and, and I had to do something. You know. Um, this is now a, a topic for a different that that would be a topic of uh, for a different review how to change these beliefs because i think 20 minutes or 15 minutes are not enough to explain that but uh, yeah i'm fascinated by this topic so uh, that would be the two major habits uh, which i could break the smoking habit and the drinking habit and also actually my my eating habit you know i had a very nasty habit of uh overeating well, not really overeating but my diet uh, was scary i can tell you that it was it was scary um and uh it um it reflected in my body of course i gained some weight and but uh it was not so uh, uh visible or obvious on my body but, uh, you know, I developed a diabetes and I developed high blood pressure. So these are all results. This was all resulting from my nasty, and I call them nasty eating habits, you know. I mean, I am a chef. You know, I should know better.
But no, it's not that easy, you know. Habits, especially the bad ones or destructive habits, yeah, they, they, they screw uh, you up completely. And this is all that has to do with the subconscious mind, you know. Uh, the, the power is really in the subconscious mind. So, and um, if you want to change something radically in your life to the better, you have to go to work on your subconscious beliefs, uh, your subconscious thoughts, and uh, you have to you have to enter the subconscious mind. You have to go to work on on the subconscious mind. And how to do that is very well explained in this book because you need to read this in order to change something if you don't want to change anything if you don't want to change nothing then i recommend don't waste your time to read that book then just uh, continue to watch netflix or whatever you do and continue to go to mcdonald's i'm not saying mcdonald's is bad but for me personally i don't recommend this kind of food and uh, all other tv programs by the way I also do not much recommend because uh, I personally uh, cut down on these uh, on this kind of mind food but this is a different topic okay uh, that's it for today I hope you like this uh, little uh, review here um, yeah it's actually more like an introduction it's not really a review it was not a, really a review here uh, but yeah it's a, it's a mix between an introduction and a review as you know i want to uh, make you hungry and uh, when you are uh, ready uh, when you are in the sector of personal development if you are ready to do something about yourself if you are fed up uh, with certain things in your life you also can visit my website which is www.movingwithvision.com www.movingwithvision.com this is my website there is my blog I have uh, a health and uh, uh, nutrition section also. I have uh, uh, my videos are being uploaded there. There are many more things to come. Uh, I have just started this business, so uh, please, um, yeah, please uh, click the like button, uh, share my video, and most importantly, don't forget to give me uh, give me your comments on the video on my presentation. Let me know how you. Uh, how you find the video how did you like it uh, other things you want me to improve uh, honestly speaking this is now i don't know which one uh, how many book reviews i did uh, i think uh, four five six maybe even uh, uh, so this is maybe even the seventh review so i start to get more comfortable already in this setting here also and i'm getting more and more comfortable with uh, uh, talking and speaking you know so uh it uh, it takes some time so uh but i can tell you i feel more comfortable i hope it is re uh, being reflected in my presentations also in the way how i come across and yeah i i start to like it you know um uh yeah i start to like it i start to uh, i start liking to talk in front of uh, nobody actually but just the camera here and i can see myself but i start to i start to like it i i start to get more and more comfortable so yeah, I hope you like it. Please let me know. Don't be shy. Please uh, give me your opinion. And then I'm going to be back next week with more. And don't forget, all together again. Mm. Ah, nice. Okay. Take care. Have a great week ahead. I'm going to see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.